Hi everyone, thanks for being here. So the next question is from Dana Merritt. And Dana says, how would you, or what tips do you have for hosting interviews online? Ooh, this is a great question, especially right now during the pandemic. So first of all, what I would say to everyone is that no matter what business or profession that you're in, you can absolutely interview people online from your community. It doesn't even need to be in your community. It can be in people that specialize in certain things that your audience is, is interested in. So the first question I would ask is, number one, who is my audience, right? Who is my audience? What does my audience want to know? What's, um, what are they interested in? What pains do they have? What are they going through right now so that any information or person that I was going to interview, how could they help them? How could they make their life better? How could they add value to them? So the first tip in interviewing anyone online is make sure that you're interviewing somebody that your audience, who your client avatar is, is going to be interested in. So it's really important that you understand who your client avatar is, who your audience is, right? What their interests are, what their fears are, their desires are, what they want, what they need. So that's really, really important. So that way when you do your interviews and people see your topic, if they're interested in it, you're going to have more people that want to actually um, participate. Another thing that I would do is I would interview people and make sure that you take that interview and that you promote it later on. You take it and you put it on a landing page. You run an ad behind it. Don't just boost it because there's so much more you can do than just boosting, but run an ad behind the interview so it actually gets exposed in front of your target audience. Now that target audience might be local or it might be a specific demographic demographic people, demographic type of person or type of person, right? It might be um, a certain professional or individual or somebody in a certain quality of uh, stage of life. You're gonna wanna make sure that you get that content when you're promoting your ads and running your ads in front of the right people. You can also take those interviews and you can you can um, email them out when you're done. Like right now, you're going to be seeing what your this podcast right now or this Facebook um, uh, video that you're watching. Now I'm going to take it. I'm going to put it on my podcast. I'm going to put it on my Instagram. I'm going to put it on Facebook. I'm going to email it to my audience. I'm going to put it on my website. I'm going to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to really, really promote that audience. Another thing that's really, really helpful is to make sure the person that you're interviewing that they actually promote it as well and they get it out to their audience so you get as you know as much exposure as possible which is really really important also utilizing a good platform where people can interact that might be Facebook live or um, I think it's called Streamflow, um, Ecamm or Zoom right there's different apps out there and different programs that you can use that allows the audience to engage with you and ask questions and then you can take that content and uh, utilize it as I said again to promote it elsewhere Dana it's also really important to make sure that you prep your people right so for me doing an online interview is easy I'm not nervous I'm not afraid to do it I'll just do it anytime I don't even prepare for it right I don't tell them to give me the questions they're gonna ask me I don't do any of that but most people are not as experienced in doing online interviews and in fact they are so fearful and afraid so to making sure that you have you do some practice sessions you ask them what topics your your guests would like to talk about you'd let them know what questions you're going to ask you know really really preparing them and making them feel comfortable and then maybe starting out not going live, but starting out just doing something where it's the two of you so you could piece it together. And it might even be better for you as well, Dana, to do that so that that way you're comfortable. So I'm um, getting the guests prepared, making sure you're speaking to the right audience, making sure your, your speaker is also distributing it, make sure you're adding as much value as possible and, and working on a platform um, and talking about topics that your, your clients, your avatars, who your, your customers are, who you're trying to fight, so who you're trying to go after is going to be interested in it. It's going to be really, really important to having a successful interview. So I hope that helped, Dana. Let me know if you have any more questions. Hey there, I have a brand new podcast called Fired Up with Krista Mayshore, where I bring my high energy right to your ears. This podcast is available on all your favorite podcast platforms. So do me a favor, go subscribe and leave a review. All this information is free and I cannot wait to teach you everything I know. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.